ascending and descending orders now you must have heard okay let's forget these two things for the time being let's say for example i tell you that there are wickets cricket wickets okay these wickets are of different heights so let's say i tell that this is okay 30 centimeter this is 45 centimeter this is 42 centimeter and this is let's say 65 centimeter right now i tell you can you put them in an order such that the smallest one is in the front okay followed by the one which is bigger than this but smaller than the third one right bigger than this but smaller than the third one then once you've got the third one then you've got to put in the fourth one so such that every one stick or every one wicket which is to the right side of one wicket is more than it right so what will you do you will start comparing one is obviously you can try and see with the naked eyes but many a times it may not be feasible and when you are given the numbers why should we see that so i put the smallest one first which is the smallest one out of these four if you look at it you can easily tell that 30 centimeter is the smallest one of all of them and how do you do that so i put in 30 like this i put in 45 like this I put in 65 like this, I put in 42 like this. And I see that for the smallest one, the one which has the tens place as the smallest value is the smallest one, which is when 30. So 30 is the smallest one. Now once 30 is gone amongst the balance three, which is these three, which is the smallest tens place that I have? It is four but 4 is also here then what will I do I will move to the right and compare the units place in the units place which one is the smaller 2 so then comes 42 so 42 is more than 30 right let me put the third one and then I will explain this to you so after 42 is gone what am I left with is 45 and 65 obviously the tens place in 45 is less than this 4 6 right 4 is smaller so I put it 45 and then the last one now if you see you will notice a pattern such that if I pick up any of the wickets all the wickets on the right side are more than this wicket or are increasing right if I look at 42 I have 45 and 65 on the right side and both of them are more than 42 so arranging these four numbers, arranging these four numbers, arranging four numbers in such a manner that every digit, and this digit could be anything, it could be length, it could be weight, anything, coming next is greater than first or greater than preceding and less than the next this is what is called the ascending order or the increasing order so what does this mean this means arranging four numbers in such a manner that the every digit coming next is greater than the preceding one so 42 is greater than say 30, 45 is greater than 42, 65 is greater than 45 and less than the next. So if I talk about 30, right, it is less than 42, the next digit. If I talk about 42, it is less than 45, the next digit. And if I talk about 45, it is less than the next digit. So if instead of this, you would have had 30, 45, 42. 65 this is not an ascending order why because while 45 is more than 30 it is less than 42 so ascending order also referred to as the increasing order 
is the one where every digit on the right side of a given digit is more than it and every digit on the left side is less than it and that holds true for all the given numbers. On the other hand, descending order means from the highest to the lowest. So if we talk about here, we took the smallest one first, but if I have to put it in a descending order, right? So I'll pick up the largest one first, which is 65, right? So I'll pick up the tens place, which is the highest. Then 4, 4 is here in both these, but I pick up the largest. It is from highest to lowest. So 45 come next. Then 42 comes next. And then 30 comes next. So I move from highest to the lowest. In this case, every digit on the right is less than the given digit. While every digit on the left of a given digit is more than the particular digit. This is what is known as ascending and descending order. Thank you for being with us today.